on November 15th, 2017, the world changed. Donald Trump was a thirsty boy. We lost beloved rap sensation Lil Peep. And Greg Mails, the brilliant Western Miyamoto, who was the designer of such games as Donkey Kong Country, Banjo-Kazooie, and currently Sea of Thieves, twittered on Twitter. It's 20 years since at Rare Limited released hashtag Diddy Kong Racing. TT reckons it's time for a drink to celebrate. Yes, TT the stopwatch from off of Diddy Kong Racing, caretaker of the racetracks on Timbers Island, and one of the most difficult characters to ever unlock in a video game. Well, except for any characters you have to buy as DLC. I'm poor! For those wondering what TT was doing in a pub with a gelatinous mustachioed blob, this isn't the first time TT has appeared with Mario. In a German comic from Club Nintendo, the two met while on a train and... Oh, wait, I'm being told this screen grab is actually from Sea of Thieves' early prototype build, depicting a tavern on one of the game's many outposts. So, does this mean TT the stopwatch is actually in Sea of Thieves? Consider the following! The Diddy Kong Racing cast has been extensively spun off in the past. Diddy Kong Racing predated both Conker's Pocket Tales and Banjo-Kazooie, and Tip Tip the Turtle went on to become a supporting character in the latter series. Meanwhile, boss character Tricky had an entire prequel developed around him in Dinosaur Planet, which, through a complicated series of events, became a Star Fox game that was still a Diddy Kong Racing prequel. That's right, Fox McCloud is technically currently elderly or dead. For that matter, Star Wars took place a long time ago, which means our favorite characters like Luke Skywalker and Han Solo are also dead. What? what? So, were this proud tradition to continue in the light of Diddy Kong Racing's 20th anniversary, one should know that the entire Diddy Kong Racing cast, Sans, Diddy, Crunch, and sometimes Tricky, are currently owned by Rare and Microsoft, meaning TT and Sea of Thieves would be legal and fun, like bestiality, in Hawaii, Wyoming, New Mexico, Kentucky, West Virginia, and the District of Columbia. <coughs> but why would TT, an anthropomorphic stopwatch, be a good fit for Sea of Thieves? A game about slovenly humans drinking and stabbing each other that presumably takes place at least 300 years before Diddy Kong Racing. Because it's ridiculous, that's why. Also, with both the in-game compass and the recently revealed watch, a stopwatch would be an ideal fit as a third uh, round item that has a po pointy stick and, and kind of spins in circles. But still, really, how could this idea work? It might be a nice treat for us long-term Rare and Donkey Kong Universe fans, but wouldn't it just serve to alienate the newer audience that Rare and Microsoft are successfully courting with Sea of Thieves? Yes, it would. But here's what the Sea of Thieves team could do. Number one, introduce a stopwatch item in the game. I don't know, to, to time things. Like how long it would take to find buried treasure or how long it'll take for your crew's vomit to fill up and sink your own ship. Look, no one pays me to figure out this stuff. 
but they should. Number two, introduced an extremely rare variation of it called the Thieves Timepiece Stopwatch. Have it be in the image of TT, but all dirtied up and broken looking, as per the Sea of Thieves tradition. Here, allow me to demonstrate. Number three, allow us to maintain the delusion that this is really TT. And he started off life as an enchanted piece of pirate hardware in the Sea of Thieves, before his crew sailed to Pirate Lagoon, where he stayed behind and settled down with Taj the Genie. Look, if Tricky can be a space alien, TT can be a pirate. My mom once told me that we can be whatever we set out to be. That's why I run a Donkey Kong website. Of course, Rare can come up with their own idea should they want to. The important thing is, TT gets in Sea of Thieves. Also, the important thing is, Captain Black Eye gets in Sea of Thieves. Also, the important thing is, Royston gets in Sea of Thieves. Also, the important thing is, Mr. Pants' ancestor, Commodore Pantaloons, how to campaign for TT in Sea of Thieves. The easiest way is to let Rare know how much you want it. Sign up for the Sea of Thieves forum at https colon forward slash forward slash www dot sea of thieves dot com forward slash forum then there's another forward slash but I don't think you need that forward slash I don't I don't think it's necessary um, also send physical mail to their address <laughs> And if that fails, Carrier Birds! We also need a trendy hashtag to catch fire on social media. Hmm. How about hashtag give Sea of Thieves the clock? No, that's offensive. TT isn't a clock. I know, I'll get political. Hashtag the TT tape is real. No, I, I don't need Putin attacking us again. Hmm, I'm tired of this video. And all of a sudden, I really have to pee. Let's just go with hashtag TT in Sea of Thieves. Okay, bye. Come gather round people, wherever you roam. And admit that the waters around you have grown. And accept it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone and if your breath to you is worth saving then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone for the times they are changing <laughs>